theory will take you only so far. So one thing I wanted to call out was actually around the one minute and 37 second mark in this trailer that I thought was pretty cool. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Oppenheimer trailer uh, by Christopher Nolan. He didn't cut the trailer, but of course he made the movie. And specifically, we're gonna be looking at a few different things. We're gonna be looking at the music specifically and how the editors can customize the music to work within the trailer. We'll be looking at sound design and how you can use that to accent the music and key moments of the trailer. We'll also be looking at graphic cards and their use to help assist with the uh, storytelling. So let's just go ahead and get right to it and we'll check out the trailer. Imagine a future. And our imaginings horrify us. They won't fear it. Until they understand it. And they won't understand it. take you only so far. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon. But we have no choice. Very, very cool trailer. Let's dig into this particular trailer for Oppenheimer. Let's take a look here at my timeline. So I've got the trailer in here. We've used Premiere's scene edit detection to do a pretty decent job of showing where the various cuts are. You can see that the yellow clips here, um, this is to denote the motif that was used throughout the trailer. Pretty much the explosions, the fission reactions and stuff like that that are going on with this uh, nuclear bomb. And every yellow clip is, you know, kind of where that's peppered back in. Kind of a cool stylistic thing to bring out throughout the trailer. It's neat when you have something that you can give an identity to your trailer. It's usually the byproduct of a movie that has a great identity. So obviously this movie has a lot of great material to work with. It was shot beautifully by Christopher Nolan. It makes your job as a trailer editor infinitely easier if you have the luxury of working with absolutely gorgeous footage like this and then the coverage of every angle that you need on every character and you've got the wide shots that you want to be able to pull out and get the scope. And then up here you can see on V2 we've got the, uh, the graphic cards or the copy. In this case, this particular trailer has very little copy. Um, you can see that the uh, first card that we have is from Christopher Nolan. Hugely important call out. Christopher Nolan movie, a Steven Spielberg movie, you're going to probably mention that in your trailer. And often you'll take the time to mention it with a full screen graphic like that. Something else I want to point out, uh, going back to the scene edit detection, is it's pretty cool. It's a good way to visualize here. You can notice the pacing. So I'm just going to go full screen with this. Check this out. So you can obviously tell that the, uh, the edits are obviously more tightly spaced here towards the end. That's the mark of an increased pace. It's the mark of, well, it's a byproduct of the music elevating in intensity, having more energy towards the back end. It's quicker storytelling, it's quicker shot, you know, sh shot changing. Um, you'll, I mean, it's pretty common for a trailer. I mean, you're gonna kind of pick up the pace as you get to the end. And uh, especially when something's building to some sort of impactful climax like this is. Um, let me just show you here what's going on as far, as far as their big kind of music transition in this trailer. But we have no choice. Scanning. 
can hear the percussion starts on that. You know, like I said, there's I didn't listen to this that specifically, but I'm sure that there's, you know, some drums and some percussion throughout. But it really comes in pretty heavy handed here on this Christopher Nolan card. And when your percussion comes in, that's a massive indication that like, OK, you know, energy is going up. We're getting serious here. You know, we're building to a climax. One thing that uh, when I was reviewing this, I wrote down some notes, actually. So one thing I wanted to call out was actually around the one minute and 37 second mark in this trailer that I thought was pretty cool. Let me play this little section for you here and I'm gonna kind of explain what's going on and then how you could achieve that if you needed to. I'm going to tell the truth. So the music, you know, it does its swell, da, da, bum, 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 bum. So on that bum, 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 whenever you've got little accents in the music like that, it's probably a cue that was designed for trailer editors. I mean, you know, other music is built like that, but you know, these libraries have gotten very, very good at understanding what trailer editors need to be able to cut with. So let's take a look at what they did here. Now they've got those three beats to work with. Obviously, great opportunity, you know, we don't all cut to the beat all the time as editors, but it's a pretty effective technique. So that's, that's exactly what they did right here. They cut to the beats. <laughs> You've got three cool shot changes on those beats. And additionally, the music may or may not have had enough oomph on those three beats. Oftentimes, music cues do not. So a trick that you can use if you want to really kind of nail something like that and really build a cool moment, where you can drop some additional hits in here. You find the beats of your music. You know, oftentimes it's helpful to mark them with, you know, drop a marker on that hit. You've got a hit here. You've got a hit roughly here. Not a hit. A beat you know what i'm talking about and drop one here so we can drop down here we've got now four hits layer down so let's drag this around we've got down to here and then our final beat our fourth is right here this is going to be obviously way heavy-handed because it's already been accented it's already a final mix but you can see what this would accomplish Tell the truth. So you have to be very tasteful with how you employ this. You have to make sure that the sounds that you layer feel organic to the music cue that you're already working with. So anyway, really cool trailer. Um, obviously it accomplished its goal, which is to make you want to see the movie and I'll definitely be seeing this movie. Some people like to be pessimistic and say, oh, you know, there's never anything good on TV. There's no, nothing good to watch on Netflix or in the theater. I beg to differ. There's more cool stuff than ever and more people are getting the opportunity to produce cool stuff. Obviously, Christopher Nolan is not some rising star. He's well established, but yeah, there's so much good stuff and we're going to start kind of digging into this, both from the trailer side of things. We'll look at some long format techniques. So yeah, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And uh, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey there. For tons more free editing training, head over to our website at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. Here you can download free editing guides along with high quality video training courses created by our team of professional Hollywood editors. Our tutorials cover a wide range of editing topics like cutting awesome movie trailers, editing action scenes, how to work with music and sound design, and a lot more. All of these free guides and videos are available at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. I'll see you next time.